Well, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Baldur's Gate 3 game. Now, in order to get started, there's two ways of installing mods. The first way would be the manual way, which you will need to do at first. Everything after that could be installed with the automatic way, with the mod manager. So first, the manual way, you will need to get the full release mod fixture. And I'll have all the links down in, in the description. So you don't have to Google any of this. You can just go down in the description and click on the URL. Now, what we'll need to do is download the full release mod fixer and we'll do a manual download now once that gets downloaded you're going to need to go into your search bar of your windows type in percent sign app data percent sign just hit enter now you're going to want to go uh, we're in the roaming folder we're going to want to go one back go into the local folder gonna scroll down and look for the L's. We are looking for Larian Studios, Alder Gate 3 folder, and then the mods folder. It's as simple as that. They take what you downloaded from they take the full mod and you put it into the mods folder. And you extract it with your favorite extractor there you go simple as that now that mod is installed what you need to do is run the game and it is fully activated and installed that one had to be installed manually but the rest of them usually don't here in the install portion of the mod it says to extract it and um that you do not use the mod manager so you can't use the mod manager but everything else you usually can. Now to get the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, once again, the link is down in the description below. Scroll down a little bit and look for grab the latest release. You are gonna need this Microsoft.net framework. Let's make sure that we have the right one. So you can click on their link, make sure here. You can go ahead and click this big download on that framework 4.7.2 runtime. We run that, let's see what it says. It says, can install it because you already have the same or a greater version. Great, so I don't need it. You might just double check. Now that we know that a Microsoft.NET framework is good, let's grab the latest release. Go ahead and download a file for you. Got a folder ready to extract it into. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the folder, right click on it and extract it here. So it gives me all of these different files. You can delete the zip folder. That was just a clean installation of the mod manager in the folder that you've created. Go ahead and double click on that exe. Now you should have your Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager open. What you can do is go into settings and then open preferences. And then this game data path and game executable path. Usually they will be completely filled out. Now for me they are not. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that fixed. If you go over to your desktop, you can right click on your launcher and open file location. This will give you the location of your game. I'll go ahead and copy that folder. The, the path to that folder. Go over to your mod manager and it needs the game executable path, which is right here, in the main folder. And then the data path is just slash data. And that's going to be all set to go. Now when you want to import a brand new mod, go ahead, click File, Import Mod, and then it just select the location of where it is, generally be in your Downloads folder when you download it from uh, Nexus Mods. And you do the manual download. You hit the manual download, it'll download straight into your Downloads folder, at which point you go to your Mod Manager file import mod and import any mod that you would like and it does it all fully automatically that's going to be it for me ladies and gentlemen if this video has helped you out go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more guides like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button helps out a lot appreciate it have a great one